But endometriosis is a remarkably common condition impacting around 10% of women. It causes chronic pain and infertility and has a huge effect on many women's lives. The disease is characterized by cells that resemble the lining of the womb, but they're growing in the wrong place. So often in the peritoneal cavity, sometimes on the ovaries or fallopian tubes, but the disease can impact even more distant organs. So maybe the bladder, the colon, sometimes even as far as the lungs. Endometriosis in itself has many needs and many unanswered questions um, in the research and clinical space. The lesions are very small, and that means we just haven't been able to apply the big scale genomics approaches that have been really successful in cancer to understand this disease. We were incredibly excited to apply a new technology called single cell genomics, where you can study the molecular profile of a disease one cell at a time. And this is just perfect for a disease such as endometriosis, where there's many different cell types contributing to disease biology, epithelial cells and the stromal cells that make up the lesion itself, but also the host tissue is changed by the presence of those cells. We created an atlas or a roadmap of all the different cell types that contribute to endometriosis. This resource can now be used by researchers all throughout the world to study the specific cell types that they specialize in to find new ways to treat endometriosis more effectively or diagnose it more efficiently. It really is a game changer. It's long been known that endometriosis doesn't respond in the same way to ovarian hormones, but we could see that the relationship between the cell types present in lesions and the hormones of the menstrual cycle were completely broken. We hope that some of the most short-term impacts can come from finding new therapeutic options for patients. So in our lab, we're already testing some therapeutics using a mouse model of endometriosis based on discoveries from this cell atlas.